What's up, what's up, Real Life English? This is Chad, and in this episode of Real Life TV, I'm going to teach you guys the importance of opposite prepositions and how to use them with literal phrasal verbs. Oh, yeah. Alright guys, as you have probably noticed, the English language is filled with prepositions and we use these all the time. So just to familiarize yourself with the prepositions first, let's have a look at some of the opposite prepositions. For example, in, out, on, off, you know, even up, down, away, towards. Obviously we can use some prepositions, we're also using adverbs as well. So, uh, why is this so important in English? Well, I guess, especially for Brazilian, you know the famous phrase, the book is on the table. But what happens when the book falls? Do you say the book fall, fell down? No. This is when we start to implement the opposite preposition. So now I'm going to use the literal phrasal verb, the book fell off the table. Why off? because the book was on the table. Okay, let's have a look at another preposition, the preposition in. What is the opposite of in? If you said out, you would be correct. So, let's say that my wallet is in my pocket, but I want to reference the fact that it came, it left my pocket, so I'm gonna use the opposite preposition. My wallet fell out of my pocket. It was in my pocket and it fell out of my pocket. Again, I'm using the opposite preposition. This is going to really help your English because we can even change the verb and it makes the situation a lot more descriptive. Maybe the pocket didn't fall out of my pocket, but someone grabbed it out of my pocket. So depending on how the action moved, we're going to change the verb. Okay, and one more is the preposition up. The opposite would be down. So this is very common. Many people confuse this. So let's say that I'm on the street and I'm driving my car asking for directions. And I asked someone, where is the shopping center or where is the mall? That man can say, go up the street and it's on your left. But, there you go, he's putting the verb and the preposition. If it was the opposite, it would be to go down the street. Okay, so these kind of, they work as verbs, to go up and go down. But, I can change the verb depending on how I'm doing the action. If I'm in my car, I can drive up the street or drive down the street. If I'm on a bike, a bicycle, I would ride up or ride down the street. Okay, so this is pretty much how we use literal phrasal verbs. On my last video, I explained to you what is the difference between literal and figurative phrasal verbs. If you haven't seen it, click on this link and you'll go straight to that video right now. But in the last video, I gave you an example of the phrasal verb to run out of something. And I also told you that that was a literal phrasal verb. So, same principle, to run out of the building, which is what I said in my last video, the reason I ran out of the building is because I was in the building. There you go, that is how we use opposite prepositions with literal phrasal verbs. Alright guys, that concludes this video, I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to know anything else about prepositions, using phrasal verbs, we have a lot of information about this on our website. There's a link to our website in the box below. I suggest you go there because we have a lot of cool stuff. Also, if you want to see more videos like this one, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel where you will be the first to receive all of our new videos. So, thanks a lot for watching. Hope to see you guys next time. Take it easy.